Prepare to be transported back in time as we uncover the forgotten marvels that paved the way for our modern understanding of the cosmos. In a world before Galileo, these ten extraordinary astronomical instruments were the technological marvels that revolutionized our perception of the universe. From ancient astrolabes that unlocked the secrets of the stars to intricate armillary spheres that mapped the celestial motions, get ready to embark on a journey through time and witness the remarkable ingenuity of our ancestors. Brace yourself for a captivating exploration of the astronomical instruments that laid the foundation for our cosmic discoveries. We've always had an undeniable fascination with the sun, the moon, and the night sky. While astronomy made massive leaps forward with the likes of Galileo and Copernicus, other astronomers had already spent thousands of years trying to learn all they could about the movement of the stars and the planets. Some of their ancient tools were so complex that it took us years to understand them. 1. Warren Field Calendar Although the Warren Field Calendar was discovered from the air in 1976, it was only unearthed by the National Trust for Scotland in 2004. Even so, it took us almost another decade to determine that it was something epic the beginnings of recorded time, as an archaeological team from the University of Birmingham called it. The calendar was a series of 12 pits spread out over an arc 54 meters 180 feet long. Each pit was sensed with a lunar month, but there were also corrections for lunar cycles. A straight lunar calendar wouldn't have worked because there aren't a set number of lunar cycles in a natural year. Amazingly, the pit system in Warren Field corrected for this 6,000 years before Stonehenge was built. 2. Al Kujandi's Mural Sextant. Not much is known about Abu Mahmud, Hamid ibn al Qaider al Kujandi, except that he was a mathematician and astronomer living in the area that's now Afghanistan. Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. However, we do know that he was responsible for building one of the largest astronomical instruments of the era, the mural sextant near Ray. The mural was done on a 60-degree arc between two interior walls of a building. Measuring about 43 meters, 140 feet, in diameter, the arc was sliced into degrees. Each degree was then divided into 360 parts, making the mural not only an incredibly precise solar calendar, but also the first device capable of accurate measurement on such a small scale. 3. The Volvel and the Zodiac Man Brought to Europe at the turn of the 14th century, the Volvel was a weird sort of astronomical instrument that remained one of the key tools for scientists and physicians. Layered circles of parchment were held together by a single tie in the center that allowed the user to move all of the circles to calculate everything from the moon's phases and the sun's position to the zodiac. Other versions were made, too, including one that told the time of night based on the position of the stars. Today, we might think that it's just a clever, archaic little gadget. At the time, though, it was a huge status symbol. Printed on parchment, only the richest of the rich could afford their copies of the Volvel. 4. Ancient Sundials Sundials have been reduced to little more than kitschy garden accessories today. But at one time, they were necessary for telling time and tracking the movement of the sun across the sky. One of the oldest sundials was found in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Dated between 1550 BC and 1070 BC, this sundial is a piece of limestone with a semicircle drawn on it. The semicircle is then divided into 12 sections. Strangely enough, this sundial was found with workmen's drawings, suggesting that it was used to track work hours or to represent the sun god's movement through the night and the underworld. 5. Nebra Sky Disk Named for the German town where it was discovered in 1999, the Nibra Sky Disk is the oldest depiction of the cosmos ever found. It had been buried alongside a chisel, two axes, two swords, and two arm rings. Although this Bronze Age burial site dates to about 3,600 years ago, researchers acknowledge that the artifacts may be even older. Depicting the sun, the moon, and some stars, the exact meaning of the disk has been open to interpretation. It's generally thought to show the sun and the moon in the center, a half-circle strip beneath those bodies that may be a holy symbol and smaller circles that represent the stars in constellations such as Orion, Andromeda, and Cassiopeia. 6. Chanquillo Astronomical Complex The Chanquillo Astronomical Site in Peru is so complex that we only discovered its true function in 2007 with the help of a computer program designed to align solar panels. Stretching 300 meters, 980 feet, along the hilltop, the site is made up of 13 towers arranged in a straight line. As a fort, it was an incredibly poor choice of location, without defensive benefits, 
access to running water, or a food source when archaeologists realized that one of the towers lined up with the sunrise on the summer solstice and another with the sunrise on the winter solstice, they began to suspect its true purpose. 7. The Hyginus Star Atlas Four book with long name, also known as the Poetica Astronomica, Hyginus's star atlas was one of the first depictions of the constellations. Although its authorship is debated, it is sometimes attributed to Gaius Julius Hyginus, who wrote between 64 BC and 17 AD. Others claim that the work has similarities to another piece by Ptolemy, suggesting that a different Hyginus wrote the text more than a century later. Either way, when the Poetica Astronomica was reprinted in 1482, it became the first printed work to feature the constellations as well as the lore and mythology behind them. While other atlases gave more concrete mathematical information that could be used for navigation, the Poetica Astronomica was a more fanciful literary interpretation of the stars and their stories. 8. The Celestial Globe The celestial globe dates to a time when astronomers believed that the stars were on a globe of their own that circled the Earth. As that imagined globe moved, the stars moved too. The celestial globes that were created to map that heavenly orb are stunning. Some of the earliest globes were made by the ancient Greeks, and the idea remained a popular one well into the 16th century. The first printed globe in a form similar to our traditional globes was created by the German scholar Johannes Stoner. He offered his works of art as a pair, a celestial globe and a terrestrial one. There are only two known Stoner celestial globes still in existence. 9. Armillary Sphere with its rings circling a central point, the armillary sphere was a distant relation to the celestial globe. There were two different types of spheres, observational and demonstrational. Ptolemy was one of the first people to use one. The rings were divided to allow the reader to turn them as well as to establish latitude and longitude. Along with astrolabes, armillary spheres were used for navigation for centuries. Strangely, these common instruments were also deeply shrouded in mystery. Although it may have been a joint effort between the Greek and Islamic worlds, we're not sure who invented the armillary sphere or how the demonstrational models were used. With the armillary sphere's similarity to the celestial globe, many texts that refer to early astronomical instruments can be interpreted as talking about either one. The rings of an armillary sphere were usually rather delicate, so we don't have many surviving examples. 10. El Caracol Chichen Itza As we reach the eye-opening conclusion of this extraordinary journey, we are left astounded by the incredible Soviet space firsts that have been buried in the depths of history. Uncovering these forgotten achievements ignites a spark within us, reminding us that the exploration of space is a shared human endeavor, transcending borders and politics. The remarkable accomplishments of the Soviet Union have laid the foundation for the spacefaring era we live in today. As we conclude this remarkable journey through time, we are left in awe of the extraordinary astronomical instruments that preceded Galileo's groundbreaking discoveries. These ancient marvels, crafted with ingenuity and a deep yearning for understanding, laid the foundation for our modern understanding of the cosmos. From the remarkable precision of the astrolabe to the ingenious designs of the armillary sphere, these instruments unlocked the secrets of the heavens, guiding civilizations, and shaping our perception of the universe. If you found our video informative, Kindly subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on our video.